One, looks are the most important factor for man stating success. My website, chatify.me, is the ultimate hub where you can get your face analyzed and chatified. I'm not gonna waste your time. The single best thing that you can do as a young man to improve your looks is to- Oh, Hamza! An aesthetic physique. If you're not obsessed with money, you're a born loser. Yeah. You should be obsessed with money. All right, you know what? Let me cut straight to the chase. You need to get- Do what you're supposed to do, not what you feel like fucking doing. Facts. Rich, and you need to get rich quick. So as you can tell, this video is going to be quite different than what you used to seeing on this channel. But before we begin, I want to show you guys two very yeah, interesting pieces of data that are going to set the scene. The first was a survey that was done on Wee Wallace's channel. It goes like this. The man in the last two years has become, it's got 15,000 votes. 17% say better. Okay. For a quick uh, background, Wheat Waffles is a black pill uh, channel, and pretty much they focus, they've given up on marriage and women. They believe that women, if you don't have the right looks, then women will not stay with you or hook up with you or be with you, if I'm not mistaken. That's what black pill is about. Pretty much looks overrule everything. Sure, well, they're living in 20% say most of this. The manosphere has become worse in the last two years. I think it's become more entertaining. Therefore, there's more drama in there, and that's why people are going to vote it worse, especially black pillars. And 50% say worse. That means that one out of two people who watch Wheat Wallace's Black Pill channel think that the manager has been going downhill. Now, let's take a look at Men's Maxing Channel. It says, hey, brother, which bad habit do you want to get rid of but can't? And there's a habit that basically who's beat... Max, who's Men's Maxing? I don't know who that is. Video games that beat TV, that beat even internet pornography. You know what it is? Watching too many videos on... On YouTube. YouTube. That's right. 45% of people said that the biggest thing that's getting in the way of their success is that they consume too much videos on YouTube. And this is coming from Men's Mac. And that's why I made a reaction channel, bro, because I watch too much of this shit. So I'd rather just sit here, stream it out, watch it, clip it up, and then just post it on my own time, kind of taking a hobby and trying to monetize it, right? So, you know, I, I like the manosphere. I like to see where it's going into. I like the entertaining videos. I like breaking it down. I like thinking critically about all these things. So, you know, if most guys are sitting here paying attention to it, it's best that we sit here and we open up and we assess everything we watch, right? You got to start filtering all the things that, um, since there's so much people with so many different opinions, you got to start fil filtering and thinking critically about things. Channel, which is very much action oriented. The purpose of this video is essentially to understand what the hell is going on here. Not only why is the manosphere going downhill, according to most people, but also what type of content is being pushed more and what type of device are people gravitating towards because all these things are very much intertwined. And we're going to really end. If you consume self-help videos, self-help videos are good. But the thing is, again, like I said, the reason why I like to watch this is I like to see what we can apply to our lives, right? Right now, I'm making content in this manosphere space. I agree with a lot of things I'm saying. One of the biggest problems that guys are going through, you know, including me, is basically consuming too many YouTube videos within a day. You need to be, you need to have a lot more structure within your day and understand what you're watching, why you're watching it, and how it's helping you, right? If you want to entertain yourself a little bit, cool. Go to a few channels, subscribe a little bit, you know, entertain yourself, break it down. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're over-consuming when you know you should be doing something, then that's going to be a detriment towards your life type of content that is being pushed first from a black pill perspective and then from a red pill perspective and as we go through these examples try to look for patterns because there's gonna be a big one that you can't miss now on the black pill side of things we're seeing a massive increase in looks maxing topics even on our channel which is primarily game focused according to youtube analytics a lot of people who watch our videos are searching for things like mewing and face ratings a lot of these guys are becoming obsessed about their height or jerking off to various chats on the internet you know very productive what? stuff like that and that's when they're not too busy complaining and whining in the comments you're also seeing a lot of black pill defeatism for example uh, my business partner is indian and he's relatively on the unattractive side whenever he does a video that he releases with an attractive girl a lot of these guys in the comments will be like oh she's a paid actress oh she looks so uncomfortable oh she's probably screaming for help right the mental gymnastics they will do to basically justify their beliefs are insane these guys will literally believe that if you're not chatting you approach a girl on the street she's probably going to call the police on you this is the level of delusion that we're talking about the problem with this is it creates a very negative mindset a very toxic type of environment so basically these where, guys where is that mindset coming from why it's because it comes from fear it comes from fear right and where has this why has this fear perpetuated social media and feminism specifically feminism right complains about guys sitting here approaching them at gyms all these feministic mindsets being applied to younger women and then them making content about it social media pushing it out there guys become scared they're fearful of approaching women because 
they don't want to come off as overly offensive. So there is a lot of fear, and fear comes from what? Weak-minded people, right? Or, or people that allow fear to consume them. Because fear can be used as an asset, as a tool, right? And you overcome rejection. You, 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 you start to accept fear and embrace it, if anything. Same thing with fighting, right? You're scared to get punched in the face until you get punched in the face and you realize, guess what? You're not dead. You put your, you, you put your head down. You start to figure out how to move and weave and bob. You accept it. And then you embrace when you get punched in the face. You know you got to hit two times back harder. It is what it is. It's training. Truly believe that if you're not giga chat, your only options are rope or cope, as it will often remind you in the comments. Facts, now, on the Red Pill side of things, you're actually seeing something somewhat similar. To be fair, Red Pillars aren't obsessed solely with looks. They diversify and they focus on things like money and status as well. So they say gym max, money max, and status max. Also, they're very focused on becoming experts in understanding female nature. They do a lot of mental masturbation, try to understand every possible theory, pretty much do everything besides actually going out and talking to girls. And this is perfectly reflecting the type of content careers that have really taken off in the last several years. Think about it, who are the most popular content creators in the master? We got Fresh and Fit, Just Pearly Things, and Andrew Tate. What do they all have in common? Well, they all talk about looks, money, and status, and they also all talk about how much modern women suck. They're all essentially regurgitating. Well, look, 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 no, no, no. They're not regurgitating, bro. They're not regurgitating. This is this is like this is that hater mindset, right? Where you're just like, oh, they're all just regurgitating the same shit. They openly bring on people, which takes a lot of time to sit here and recruit women to get on the show. And then they have open conversations where they ask these women things. These women are so delusional. They're pointing they're pointing out all the things that is essentially they consider wrong with society when in reality they're just excusing their own accountability. And it's being pointed out over and over and over again. And it's always different kinds of women. And there's a pattern in society that's being proven right now. So they're not grifting. They're not, they're not doing anything wrong. They're pointing out what women say. They're not putting any words in women's mouths. The same red pill talking points over and over again. None of them are saying anything new or anything that's going to improve your life substantially in any way. Now, compare it to content creators like me or Todd V and Bezos. Now, look, me and Todd V have a lot of disagreements, but the premise behind our channel is actually very similar. Here are some actionable, practical things you can do to improve your dating results with women, right? But that stuff is a lot less Both sexy. Now, look, I'm not complaining yeah. about the lack of views. I'm very happy with the growth of my channel, what I've been able to achieve. However, most people have given the option between practical, actionable advice and watching my own dunk on some bimbo they're gonna pick the ladder because at the end of the day most people don't want to do the work they want to just mentally masturbate andrew tate content especially has really been causing people to become more obsessed with money now than ever all this talk about bugattis and rolexes is distracting you from what's actually going to help you with women which is developing your social skills right money is great it can be very beneficial to most parts of your life however it's not going to substantially improve your prospects with women unless you're going for gold diggers and you're literally giving them money which is something that i think 99 percent of people in this community don't want to do and Andrew Tate is not alone. There's other channels like RS Mosey, which are, again, just dedicated to money, money, money. Uh, literally, Fresh and Fit says that don't even bother getting into a relationship unless you're making six figures, which anyone who has an ounce of brain knows is pure nonsense. And then there's the other side of the coin, which is dunking on modern women. Channels like Darius M literally get... Okay, where does the whole money thing come from? Why do they talk about money, money, money? When you bring on all these women, all they sit here and say is, I want to be provided for. I want to be protected. I want a guy that makes $100,000 hundred thousand dollars a year right they want a certain lifestyle as men we don't sit here and make excuses we accept them we're like okay cool how do we bring more money remember you make more money when you bring more value when you bring more value towards a business when you start to really understand other people's businesses and how you can bring more value towards it right so money is important to chase money should be a male's priority at a young age that's th these are all true things of use a month by shitting a modern woman. They paint a character what a modern woman is. She's a feminist, she's an SJW, she's gonna take her kids, she's gonna hypergamy her way up, and she's basically gonna screw you over the first chance she gets. Uh, and the only way you can have a successful relationship is by traveling to a third world country, meeting a wife there. Now, again, there's elements of truth to what they're saying. I'm sure women are cheating now when they did in the past. I'm sure there's also probably shitty women in the 50s and the 70s. Every generation had shitty women and every generation has good women, including now. There's great girls out there. And what they should be focused on is like, hey, guys, here's how you develop really good social skills, confidence and charisma. Here's how you go out there and how you screen for the right girl. Here's how you should be in a relationship. Here's how you make sure you're not being taken advantage of, right? Nope, it's that my woman suck. And when you no, 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 Fresh and Fit does all those things he just said. They literally talk about screening women. They talk about how to lower your risk, how to minimize your risk in women. Like 
These are all the talking points that red pillars make to solve problems. And he's stating the same exact thing. It's, again, like I said, this is kind of like a, a hateful mindset. Just like, I just want to see things one way. But even though they're both right, they're both right. And, and, and Alex adds a lot of value when it comes to dating. You can chase the bag. You can prioritize the bag and then focus on dating. You know what I'm saying? But just prioritize the bag first. Prioritize on building your skill set. Prioritize on going to the gym. Prioritize on eating healthy and then focus on dating. Nothing wrong with that on his looks money status right which again is not going to really help you when it comes to improving your dating prospects and then of course there's the drama part the manosphere has become the drama sphere we said, waffles he just, said, he just said looks money status aren't going to help you what prospects and then of course there's the drama part wait wait, wait, wait. is not going to really help you when it's not really going to help women you. suck and what you need to focus on is looks money status right which again is not going to really help you when it comes to improving your dating prospects that's cat bro that's cap. Looks, money, status is not going to... Okay, but no, no, no. He's actually right. I'm actually wrong. I'm actually wrong. All right. Looks, money, status is not going to help you when it comes to dating prospects. So pretty much like getting more girls number, numbers in. The best way to be able to improve your dating prospects would be to improve your game. That is true. That is true. Now, how do you maintain them? You would be able to maintain them by improving your looks, money, and status. Yes. And then, of course, there's the drama part. The manosphere has become the drama sphere. So we almost years. had a very interesting thing he said during one of his live streams, which he said is that a lot of these channels that are trying to tell you how to become you know, a better man, how to become very masculine men, are actually very feminine in their behavior because they engage in bickering, drama, and all kinds of feminine nonsense. So have you guys noticed the big pattern here? If you haven't, I'm going to tell you what it is. It is the focus, no obsession on the external. On the black belt side of things, it's looks. Looks is the only things that matter. Forget about everything else. It's their mindset. Red pill is a little bit better because in addition to looks like Jim Max and they also talk about improving your money and stats. However, it's still all very external things. And the unfortunate reality is if you just focus on the external, you're going to be disappointed at some point in your dating career because it's not enough. I don't see too many content careers besides me and a few other people talking about how to get over your limiting beliefs, how to get over approach anxiety, how to become more confident, how to become more charismatic, how to step up your risk, how to get over any inner trauma that you have that could be holding you back. Nope, it's just external, external, external. Because the kind of stuff that I mentioned requires you to go out there and do the hard work. And hard work isn't sexy, which means it's going to get a lot less views. Also, I think the drama stuff really isn't helping. He's actually making a great point here. That, that This is actually true, but it doesn't mean that all these other red pillars should sit here and, and focus on those things. It's great that you have a channel like Playing With Fire. You have these other dating coaches out here talking about those kinds of situations. And at the end of the day, the accountability falls on the viewer. The viewer has to be able to make the distinction to be like, hey, I'm consuming way too much Red Pill content. I need to sit here. I need to focus on other videos that are going to improve my charisma. And again, they're never going to get much views because they're not as entertaining, right? The best way to improve your charisma is to really go out there and speak to a lot of different people and have different kinds of perspectives. If you're sitting at home all day not doing that, then that's on you. You have to take that accountability. Watching a video on self-improving your charisma and then not applying it is not going to help your charisma anybody a lot of people are looking at that and they're thinking like this the is such a toxic Tyree. community it's a bunch of grown men acting like 12 year old girls Six who are constantly underway, bickering fast. and going back and forth right it's becoming a very toxic environment instead of 10 years ago being a very positive environment so the question is what can you do about it and i think the big thing is toxic the environment bro do starting to sound like a feminist low-key Take a very holistic approach. You need to combine the external, which I think is great. Go to the gym, get your money situation in order, not for the girls, but simply for yourself, with the internal, the kind of stuff that I mentioned. You need to do both. You need to take a very holistic approach because if you don't, again, you're not going to achieve the kind of dating life you want. And that's ultimately why I think a lot of people are becoming disillusioned with the manosphere because they're following this very superficial advice. It's not giving them the kind of results they want. Combined with the drama, they're looking at this and they're saying, this crap doesn't work, but it can work if you do it the right way. What's up, guys? You know what the thing is? is uh, like He's stating a lot of problems based on views, but he's not actually One. presenting problems that men are actually facing. Like I like to see an example of what men are actually going through, like how they're consuming too much red pill content. He's just, he just put, all his statistics were just, oh, they're all views, they're all views, they're all views, they're all views. It's like, oh, people are consuming too much YouTube. Uh, black pillars are out here. They're, they're watching too much... Uh, too much of this perfect masculinity guy things like this like and then they're consuming way too much red pill so it's basically like they're putting themselves in a pessimistic mindset again that's on the viewer that's on the viewer you can't blame the creators that are creating videos people need to be accountable for their own attention and that's what we talk about all the time so I, if you want to really fix the problem you'd have to state 
the exact problem that men are actually doing in society. All right. Because when you watch, when you go to pe- when you go out to people on the street, you see a lot of guys that actually consume fresh and fit that actually talk about all the things that are happening in dating. They're not out here hating on women. They're not out here yelling at women. They, they don't got the wrong kind of mindset, bro. They just know that they need to focus. A lot of people have trouble focusing, and like I said, that's on them, not on the on the art, not on the uh, content creators themselves. That's it. Alex kind of makes it seems like he kind of makes it seems like oh. Um, if they're not creating value content, then they're just, they're just grifters. They're bad people. Like if they're not creating the content that I'm creating, then they're just bad. If they're not, if they're not combining holistic with looks, money, and status, then they're bad. That's on you to do that. That's not on a content creator to be able to do to that, to be able to do that. All right. The content creator's job is to be able to point out, point out the truth. And it may be some viable solutions if they'd like to, bro. It is what it is.